Hi guys, so today I'm going to be drawing a piece of fan art that I'm going to take to SunnyCon with me. It's basically going to include some of the characters that Brittany, that Brittany Karbowski, I hope I've pronounced that correctly, <laughs> um, voices because I'm going to try hopefully and give it to her to sign. So let's get started and <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so first I'm going to start off by um, sketching um, the um, fan art and then I'll outline it. But firstly, I'm going to write out her name just so I know who I'm going to give to design. <laughs> then I'll um, colour the picture, um, but that's going to be in a completely different video if I can get it done before Sunny <laughs> Now I have to draw in the characters. I'm not going to draw every single character she's voiced, obviously. Probably because of the amount of space I've got. But also I haven't seen every single series she's been in. Nor do I know all the characters she voiced. So if I haven't drawn a character that you guys like, I'm really sorry about that. But uh, there's only so many I can fit in. <laughs> now I need to decide where to put them on the page. So I'm going to be drawing in um, some very iconic characters such as uh, Black Star from Soul Eater and Wendy Marvel from Fairy Tail, as well as uh, Pride from uh, Full Metal Alchemist, um, Celine Bradley, known as Pride in um, Brotherhood. Um, I'm also going to add in uh, Sui Seisuke from Rose and Maiden, Jiomaru from the not very well known film uh, The Boy and the Beast. If any of you have seen that uh, film, it's, uh, it's very good. Um, Riefel, now I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it, but, um, and she's from Claymore. Um, Yukari Sakuri from the anime Another. It's kind of a horror series. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'd recommend you check it out, but if you're easily scared by horrors, I wouldn't. <laughs> um, it is more psychological though than horror. And I'm also going to draw in um, Apis from One Piece. Um, as well as Hinako from Orin High School Horse Club. She's one of the background characters in the series. And um, also, later on, I'm going to be um, uploading a video of me drawing an artwork for Erica Mendez. She's also coming to SunnyCon, and she does characters such as uh, Retsuko from Agretsuko, um, and Gon from Hunter Hunter, um, also Ryoko from Kill a Kill, Aladdin from Magi, or Magi, or however you pronounce it, um, Diane from Seven Deadly Sins, and uh, many more, though I don't think I'm going to be drawing the whole set of characters, like I said, with this video. Um, I don't think I'll have the room to fit them all in. So yeah, <laughs> that's something to look forward to. But, uh, keep your eyes open for those. <laughs> for that. <laughs> I'm going to start drawing Yukari. I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> It's quite a sad series though, the anime, another, I mean, so you've got to be prepared for some pretty sad scenes and deal with some sadness. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's got its good moments as well, you know, um, some quite funny moments, the scene where they dance in the classroom, um, when they're supposed to be non-existent, but I'm not going into too many details about that, but uh, you'll have to see for yourself to see what I mean. <laughs> it's good. Uh, worth a watch.
there's a twist in it. That's all I'm going to say for now. You have to find out for yourselves what that twist exactly is. Now I'm just going to try and draw her outfit. Now I'm going to draw in Jiro Maru from the film Boy and the Beast. Did any of you guys go and see Detective Pikachu when it was at the cinema? Because I went to see it. I enjoyed it personally. It had a very good novelty value and uh, was very nostalgic to watch some of it. <laughs> so it just makes you think back to um, starting playing the games as a kid. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of uh, Ryan Reynolds, I'll be honest, um, but I think he did a really good job at being Detective Pikachu, being the voice of Detective Pikachu. I like how, um, I like how Ryan Reynolds sung um, the Pokemon theme part of the way through the film. <laughs> Quite nice. <laughs> The graphics were really good. I really liked it. I think they did a good job of animating all the Pokemon, um, even Mr. Mime. Um, nobody really likes Mr. Mime, but they did a good job animating it anyway. <laughs> but no, 
can definitely tell um, I really enjoyed watching Detective Pikachu. It's a good watch. However, <laughs> I'd love to see more Pokemon live action movies. It'd be quite interesting actually. If they did a uh, live action of the anime, that would be quite interesting. Like, I mean, this might be me just showing a bit of favoritism and preferential treatment here, but I would love to see DP Pokemon DP the anime, like animated CGI style. I don't know how that would actually go, but seeing at least some of the anime animated in that way would be really interesting. Like. Um, <clears throat> Many of you guys know that um, I have a particular preference um, for um, Ash's Infernape. I'd love them to do um, some live action with scenes of it in like Ash vs. Paul, Flectivire, um, the Vulcan battle and all the battles it's been in. Um, but yeah, I'll stop talking about it now. Um, but honestly, I've searched across the internet to see if anyone's done any cosplay or anything like live action relating to DP, but I don't see very much relating to the anime. All I generally see is all the stuff from the Diamond and Pearl video games, which I do like, but you know, I, I love the anime as well. So if anyone actually did find anything about live action about DP, um, just let me know, because I'd love to check it out. But um, yeah, I really love DP, Diamond and Pearl, but the only complaints I would have about the series is that it, I felt the ending of it was just a little bit rushed so that black and white could start, so it didn't really feel right to me. Um, also, I didn't feel that Tobias needed to be introduced, I just felt like he was he was not a bad character, but I felt that it was just an excuse for Ash to not win the Sinnoh League and see. I felt that Ash's Torterra was a bit disappointing. I mean, I thought we were kind of getting somewhere with it, but then when it evolved, it just lost all its battles, apart from the battles with Team Rocket, and it was a bit... Uh, it was downgraded a bit. Maybe that was because of Infernape. Maybe that was because of Gliscor. I don't know. But they could have done a lot better with Torterra. I think it started going a bit downhill, to be honest, when evolved into Grottle and it started losing its speed abilities, but at least when it was Grottle it was winning battles, so... But, then again, all it was are just my opinions, and I love DP, if you disagree with me, it's fine. It's just what I think, and I still really love the series, like I said. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Speaking about the boy and the beast, a friend from Tumblr told me about the film and said, oh, you've got to see it, you've got to watch it, it's really good. So I eventually got round to watching it. <laughs> did enjoy it, to be fair. It was really, really good. boy um, goes into this world and uh, meets this uh, beast. It's not the most responsible creature in the world. <laughs> he eventually grows to care for the boy and he trains him. <laughs> and uh, I can't say it too much without spoiling it really. <laughs> but it's uh, definitely a good watch and Jiromaru is one of the characters there. He's a good friend of the main character. Becomes a good friend of the main character. Forgive me if I'm wrong, I have a terrible memory. 
if I haven't watched something in a while, that is. <laughs> Except for The Lion King, of course, but that's a different story. Another story for another day. <laughs> So yes, this is Jiromaru from Owen the Beast. Hopefully this will look somewhat better once I've outlined it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Draw Apis, that's how you pronounce it, from One Piece. So let's see how this goes. I've never drawn her before, so this should be interesting. I'm going to draw in Hinako from Oren, as I mentioned before. <laughs> I'm drawing in her eyes now. Hopefully, I'll get this right. You might be interested to know, like when I was talking about Pokemon earlier, I was going to mention uh, what cosplays I'm doing this year. So, I'm going on Saturday and Sunday. Friday, I'll still be at work. Uh, so I won't be going that day. I mean, I could take time off, but I think the two days are enough for me, to be honest. If I did any more, I'd probably be really, really exhausted and be too much for me, I think. I guess, as I said. So anyway, I'll get back to the cosplays um, on Saturday. I'm going to be doing Urza Scarlet casual version like I did last year. <clears throat> blue skirt, red wig, white top, blue bow, and black boots. That's what I will be wearing. So on Sunday, I'll be doing a new cosplay I've been putting together. I've been working on with my mum. 
And her mum's been very, very helpful. I don't know what I'd do without her, honestly. She's an amazing mum. I'm not just saying that because she's my mum. Honestly, she is amazing. She is so dedicated to helping me whenever I can. Not just with cosplay, but with everything in my life. I don't know what I'd do without her, like I said. So, the cosplay I'm going to be doing is Cynthia from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Yes, Cynthia. That's why I was talking about Diamond and Pearl earlier. Okay, I'll, not, I'll shut up about it. You're probably sick of me talking about it. So, yeah. So I'm going to be cosplaying in her original Diamond and Pearl outfit. The black one. The black and furry outfit. Not the one she wears in the Best Wishes series. That's probably would have been a better choice walking around a boiling hot convention, but... Um, no, I, I thought black one. I like the black one a bit more. Um, I'm pretty much almost at the finish stage with it. The from, um, from Amazon. The coat from a charity shop. Um, got all the bits and bobs like ribbon and stuffing from uh, Hobbycraft. Got the um, the Umbreon ear things from Asda. Some um, carrot ear band things. And uh, we used the carrot things to make the Umbreon things. And used black material to make them black. And then added uh, ribbons around them. And we're going to add the ribbons to the shoes as well. So I've got some boots at home. And I'm going to use a black top. And black and black trousers as well that we've got in the house. Bought the wig off Amazon, and I'm just going to try everything on on Monday, see how everything fits together. But no, I should be good to go. So yes. <laughs> so Cynthia on Sunday, Urza on Saturday. So try and post the cosplays beforehand as soon as I've got them all sorted so that you know what I look like. <laughs> Might not like what you see like. <laughs> but I am what I am. Can't change that. Don't want to change that. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Right, so now I'm gonna draw Celine Bradley or Pride from Full Metal Alchemist. I enjoy in Suisei She's one of the dolls from the anime series Rosen Maiden. 
Rose and Maiden, as far as I know, split into three different series. Brittany voices her in one of the series. The third series, if I'm correct, is uh, Sui Seisuke. Um, she's a bit of a Sundia character, I would say. say. Sundere, how you pronounce it. She's not my favourite character of the series. I prefer her twin sister, Sosei Kitsuki, but... Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, I don't think there's any characters I actually hate in that series. Um, I don't think there's many characters I dislike in anime, to be honest. I think only one of the few characters I have a dissuasion towards is Bakugo from My Hero Academia. I just don't get why he's so angry all the time. Well, most of the time. I'm sorry, fangirls. But anyway, I'm not going to rant any more on about that because, you know, disliking characters is... I mean, it's allowed. And um, everyone's allowed to dislike characters. Or anything, really. It's an opinion, but as long as I remain respectful to others who don't agree with their opinion, it's when you don't accept that others have opinions. Opinions that differ from your own as to when there's a problem. Even if I disliked a character, it doesn't mean I should go around hating them completely and bitching on being nasty to other people just because they like that character, you know? I believe that people should have different opinions and different thoughts and if I disagree with someone, someone disagrees with me, you should just accept that and just be friends. Or at least get along mutually. I think that's fair enough. Anyway, I need to get on and think how I can go around to doing all of this picture. I'm going to join um, Wendy Marvel from uh, Fairy Tale. need professional help. <laughs> Seriously though, that scene is just so funny. <laughs> I've never got over it. Even after I finished watching Soul Eater, I just had to watch that scene <laughs>
So here's what we've got so far. It took me a day, then two to three hours to do between work. The next stage is outlining, and then I'm going to colour this all in in coloured pencils. The colouring in will be in a different video. So I've got my uh, Erica Mendez um, fan art to do as well. Right, so I'm going to start outlining the picture now. So fingers crossed this will go well. I'm going to take my time with this because very ruined mistakes can be very clumsy and the slightest mistake could just kind of ruin it. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how this goes.
the line art finished. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.